assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Udo technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about the sql constraints so sql constraints are defined through the model attribute uh, which is called underscore sql and underscore constraints the letter is assigned to a list of tuples of strings uh, so this is the format of defining an sql constraint so first thing is the name of the constraint the second thing is the definition of the constraint and the third thing is the message that you want to display uh, in case of constraint so where name is a valid sql constraint name so sql definition is the table constraints expression and message is the error message okay so we will explain it by an example so in this video what we want to do is to add to uh, sql constraints so the first one will check whether the course and uh, course description and course name we can say title or different and in the second constraint we need to check that the name of the course is unique so uh, currently if we go to the open academy module so here we can define the name of the course and here we can add the description of the course so currently we can add both description and the title uh, with the same string but we need to add uh, an sql constraints to stop uh, this so uh, for this purpose uh, we need to go to udo and then in this model we need to add uh, another attribute which is uh, sql constraints and then here we need to add a, uh, a list so actually it is a tuple a list of tuples so here you can see um, it says sql constraints are uh, a list of tuples of strings so uh, in this uh, in, inside the list we need to define the tuple so here we need to add uh, the first parameter is the name of the sql constraint so for here we need to check um, check uh, name and description okay so we can add uh, the sql constraint name like this and then we need to add uh, the uh, like the constant uh, expression which is a check expression so we need to use the check expression so uh, if you if you want to know more about the uh, the sql constraints ex sql statements so you can visit this uh, link and here you can check this is the check constraint so how you can use it check keyword and then inside the brackets you can use the condition so here uh, we will add the condition like a uh, name is not equal to name is not equal to description so what this means so like it will check that the name should not be equal to uh, the description name is the title and here we need the third parameter is uh, the message that you want to display in case of uh, this constraint is not uh, fulfilled so we want to add a message here that uh, title and and description must be different like this okay so this is uh, the constraints that we have added and then we need to restart Udo service and then we need to upgrade the module so let me just try uh, to upgrade the module from here click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade uh, you, you will be able to see uh, the constant so let me go to the open academy and open this so let me add the description same as the title and then let me try to save this so when i try to save the record it says like the operation cannot be completed because title and description must be different so if i try to add a different uh, description like this by adding one so here uh, if i save it so it it allows me to save it if i remove one it will not allow me to save it so this is uh, how you can use the constraints uh, which is like the check constraint so uh, the second constraint that we want to add in this example is like to check whether the name of this course is unique like we can add multiple courses in this case so uh, we need to use the sql constraints to stop adding 
duplicate uh, name courses so for this purpose um, we need to use uh, this like it comma here and then uh, inside the tuple we need to add like the name which is uh, we can say like name unique so this is just a string uh, you can add whatever you want uh, you just need to um, like uh, describe what uh, you want to add so here you need to add the exact keyword so for the unique constraint we need to use unique keyword and inside the bracket we need to you add the field name on which we want to apply the uniqueness so here is the name and then the third parameter that we need to add is uh, the message that we want to display like in this case we have added uh, title and description must be different mm, so in here we will add like uh, title course title must be unique like this okay so let me restart auto service and then let me try to upgrade the module okay so i click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and then after the upgrade after the module upgrade we will be able to see the uh, unique constraints okay so let me go to the open academy over here so let me try to create an other course with the same name so just try to click the create button and then edit so let me select any uh, uh, responsible so let me try to save it so when i save it i got this that uh, the Udo technical course name already exists so you cannot uh, like create or duplicate uh, courses with the same name so this is uh, how you can restricts a duplication using the SQL constraint so uh, if like uh, I would like guess like you have properly understand what uh, how to use it so you can also search uh, about this in uh, Udo default code and you can get the idea how Udo is using uh, this SQL constraints in different scenarios so here you can say the check operation is used the check constraint is used and it is checking let number of months are greater than or equal to zero okay so like number of months cannot be negative and here uh, the unique sql constraint is used but here two uh two fields are added so how like you can add two or more fields inside the unique constraints to make it uh, to make the record unique so here I will give uh, like on the basis of this uh, scenario so I will give you a, a, a scenario here if you want to exercise it and you want to do the practice so for this purpose you can add an other constraints where you know, like the name and uh, the responsible should be unique so there should not be a course with uh, the same name and same uh, responsible so you can try it uh, try this uh, uh, like by adding an sql constraints but first of all you will have to remove this uh, name unique constraint and then you can try it so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, thank you